Now you know how to use parallel projection to place new canvases in your scene and adjust the position of those canvases. So far, all of the projection we've covered has been parallel, which means it's directly in front of us and we're pushing it forwards and backwards in space. But sometimes you may want to place a canvas at an angle. This is where we can use the hinge tool. It allows us to place a new canvas that intersects the current canvas at an angle. You can think of it as hanging one canvas off of another. Now let's add a bridge extending out from the city into the foreground. First, we'll start by going to the city canvas in drawing mode because the bridge will be coming out of the city. Tap on the new hinged canvas tool to get started. As you can see, this looks similar to the projection interface with the preview window, but there are a few key differences. The line here represents the axis that we will hinge from. The first step is to position this axis. When you are positioning the axis and hinge, you should think about where the old canvas and the new canvas will intersect, and that is where the axis should be. You can also imagine that the axis is like the fold line in a piece of paper. But in this case, we're working with an infinite canvas, so it's not exactly the same as a folded paper because you can draw anywhere. To position the axis, drag the two small outer handles into place. You can see the axis moving in the preview window. It does not matter how far apart they are, this is just to help you position the line. I want my bridge to extend out of the city around this building, so that's where the axis will be. Now we're ready to start angling the new canvas from the city. To do this, pull the center bubble away from the axis. As we pull the bubble, we are angling the new canvas. You can see the view here is moving because we're facing the new canvas as it's being angled. You can also watch this from the preview. Watch as I pull the center bubble. The new canvas is rotating around the axis that I set. When you're happy with the angle of the new canvas, tap confirm. You can see that the new canvas has been created in the canvas panel, but it's blank. Now we can go ahead and start sketching a bridge. I know the new canvas intersects with the city at this building, so I'll use that as a starting point in my new drawing. Because canvases are infinite, we can draw anywhere on the new canvas. We are not limited to the area near the city. You could draw behind the city or in the sky, but in this case, I just want to add the bridge. So I'll get rid of those lines. Right now, I'm facing the bridge because I'm in drawing mode. But if I switch to viewing mode, we can take a look at the new canvas from a different perspective. And that's it. We've created our first hinged canvas. In the next video, we will use the hinge projection tool to adjust the angle of other canvases.